The cars we drive, the clothes we wear, the jewelry we buy. They're all symbols that make a statement about who we are. They stand for something different from what we actually see. That shows we can think in an abstract way. But this is by no means a new phenomenon. We use symbols in our everyday life today, um, but really 75,000 or even 100,000 years ago, it wasn't very different. People were using symbols in the same way. There have been discoveries, such as in this cave in South Africa, that has made it necessary to rewrite the history of man. Through the research project Track Symbols, Christopher Henschelwood has found increasing evidence that man used symbols as long as 100,000 years ago. Just like us, people were even then capable of abstract thought, a key quality of modern man. I mean, the key findings are, are that Homo sapiens were behaviorally modern by 100,000 years ago. In other words, they were using symbolic artifacts, producing them, and also had technology that was advanced. And by the time they left Africa, between 18 and 60,000 years ago, they were already modern. And that modernity was taken to Europe. It didn't evolve in Europe, it evolved in Africa at a much earlier period. Henschel Wood's research shows that modern man did not originate in Europe 40,000 years ago, as previously thought, but instead in Africa 100,000 years ago. But what has he found that meant history had to be rewritten? The most important artifacts we found at Blombos and at Clipdrift have been the, the paint kit, the complex paint kit. Bifacial points, these are spear points, which had been heated and pressure flaked to be made. The beads, I think, were a big find. These were really surprising. Um, and now we have the engravings on ochre, and from the new site at Clipdrift, we also have engravings on ostrich eggshell, more than 100 pieces. So these are, some of them, of symbolic importance, but others of technological importance. And if you combine them together, it gives you a very good indication that people were thinking in a modern way. The objects found show that people at the time were not only interested in their usefulness, but that the objects also had a symbolic value. You know, I think, I think what symbols do is that they act within a group or in a, in a greater society to bind people together, because what symbols are is a way of of commonly recognizing something that might be abstract. One of the things that we do know is that there were probably less than 10,000 people in Africa, the whole of Africa, 70,000 years ago. That's very few people. If you don't have good systems in place for social contacts, you can become extinct. And one of the ways you can bind and cause strong social cohesion across groups and within groups is to use symbols. Homo sapiens left Africa between 60 and 80,000 years ago to go into, into Asia and eventually into Europe up to 40,000 years ago. They took with them all these modern trays and all this technology that they had developed. And Homo sapiens basically take over the territories that all the other hominins occupied before. Mm -hmm.